Bless you, Lord, for what you are. We want to see a big thank you for a morning like this. You who is able to do exceedingly far above more than we can ever dream. This morning, take your glory. In our new month, in our new month, in our new month. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I welcome you this morning to our new month. Bless you, Mary. God bless you for coming. I miss you so much and I'm excited seeing you. I love you, girl, and you know that everything for you. This morning has been a blessing. It's been a, a blessing. It's been a blessing. A blessing in a lot of difference. A blessing. What blessing are we talking about? It's been a blessing in the presence of the Most High God. Well, it is not everybody that planned to see this particular Independence Day of the Republic of Ghana that have been able to see. But look at you. With all the circumstances, the situation, the problems, the challenges you have gone through, you didn't even think that you will be able to find yourself in another celebration of the Independence Day of the Republic of Ghana. But look at where we find ourselves. Can you lift your voice and thank God in the month of His presence? We are in the month of His presence. We are in the month of His presence. I feel some healthy anointing on me that I can't do anything about it. But this morning, whoever comes, may the Lord bless you and give you the same presence of God. You want to bless God on this Independence Day of the 6th of March. 66 years ago when Ghana gained independence through the toil and the fight of our forefathers. Something happened for freedom to come to us to determine the justices of our own lives. Blood was shared. Life was shared. And for me and you, we understand the shedding of blood and life more than any other person. Because for us to have this level of coming back to God after all the sins we commit, after all the lies we share, the shedding of the blood of Jesus has been the reason why today me and you can come back into his presence. This morning, if you have anything to do, you want to say thank you, Lord, for another month. This is the third month in the year 2023. And we have entered into our third month, which is the month of his presence. We are entering into his presence. We just left that wonderful month of February. A month where favor was speaking everywhere of our life. This morning, enter well. Enter the sixth day of this month. <coughs> I will share with people that the man that came in the week of the ending of another month, your favor ended in his presence. The presence of God. The presence of God. 
the presence of God. There is liberty in the presence of God. This morning as we walk in his presence, we walk in his presence this month. You are ushering yourself into a new month. And what is here? Thank you to God. Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. See and Bread of heaven, bread of heaven. Feed me now and evermore. There's a reason why you want to thank God this morning. Invite a friend and share a page. You are going to pray one solid hour. I don't know which country you are watching me from. I don't know why you sit and watch me. We come here to pray every Monday. And our reason for the prayer is that, Lord, you are the only one that can do something that no man can do. Therefore, as we walk into a new month, as we step our foot into a new month, let us, let us not go unrewarded. Let us not go unrewarded. There is something good about God. And that which is good about God is that he's able to do a exceedingly far above more than we can ever dream. The presence of God makes a difference. We find ourselves in a month that a lot of people will wish to be here. Yesterday, myself and my prophet, our security team will always give us a motorcade that travels with us. So we can have clearance to go and do the work of God. It's, it's, it, we deserve it as men of God. I was just told that the motor rider that we use had an accident and died instantly. And I, I was quiet when they were showing me the pictures of his disfigured body. <laughs> Sorry. Then I asked myself, the police officer who will lead us to give us clearance on the way, so we can get there on time has been crushed to death the police officer that we rely on so we can travel has come across his tragic death in the line of duty I thought of a lot of things that who can we rely upon men will fail you men will fail you no matter who you think men have been for you they will fail you but God will never fail you <clears throat> not not it's not God will not fail you. God will never fail you. 
especially if you rely solely on him. Make him the author and the finisher of your faith. Let him be in the beginning. Let him be in the beginning to the end. He's the only God that when you don't invite him in the beginning, when you remember to bring him, he comes to join. He's not like the other gods. That will hold it against you for not inviting them from the beginning. When you recognize him at the last stage of the life of the situation, he comes through for you. This morning, will you thank him for giving you an opportunity into a new month? Bless him. 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 Bless the name of the living God this morning. Mary, bless God. You might not have everything that you desire. You might not have everything that you desire for. You might not have everything that men will wish you have. Look, the fact that you are even able to pay the rent to another man to live in their homes is a privilege. The fact that you've not been able to build your own house doesn't mean God is not alive. He is. He is. And once again, he's done what man cannot do. Lift your voice and thank God. Lift your voice and exalt the name of the living God. Come on, lift your voice wherever you are. Come on, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Thank him. Thank him. Let's join Jack a little me and let's do it together. This is Jack. Our own. This is Jack. This morning, we're worshiping God together. And in the worship of God, lift your voice and thank him. We bless you and we thank you. Share the page. I told my people that honestly, we don't know what's happening to this page of 900 of 1K. Whatever it is, we will figure it out. If it's technical, fine. But if it is spiritual, heads will roll. But when you come and you bring a friend and bring somebody, the numbers will go up for us to pray. This morning, say with me, bless the Lord, oh my soul. I love it. And all that is within me, bless the holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He who forgives all your sins. He who redeems your life from destruction. That your youth is renewed like the eagle. This morning, bless him. Bless him this morning. Bless him. <clears throat> We're grateful to you, O oh Lord. <coughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. He who redeems your life from the destruction. He crowns you with love and compassion. He who satisfies your desire. So that your youth is renewed. This morning, bless him. Give him glory. Give him praise. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We give a praise. We give you praise. We exalt your righteousness. For what you have done for us, no man can do. No woman can do. No child can do. Except you. We bless you. We give you glory. We give a praise because you are God. This morning in our gathering, we came to thank you. We are blessing you from the depth of our heart. We are saluting you because you deserve the glory and the thanks. Take all glory. Take all praise. Be that who has been always our life. 
who has been with us and kept us and moved with us as we have entered into a new month this is the month of your presence lord you told me is the month of your presence that after favor you are bringing us your presence to walk with us in the favor we have attained therefore we pray we ask the lord usher us into this month usher us into this month usher us into this month every untimely death that is walking on the corridors of the prominency of your people every untimely death that is walking on the corridors of your children let this month be a month of freedom and liberation that through your presence a new thing will come to pass for us let this month of march be enjoyed to the fullest by us oh god we're grateful lord thank glory take praise we adore you because you deserve to be lifted above everything in our lives I pray for you this morning that your life will be secured in this month. You shall not die, but you will live to declare God's word. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Give the glory in Jesus' name. Once again, let me welcome all of you to God be the glory, greater things he has done. Great things is about to do. There are too many things throughout, throughout the evening is not being fine with me at all. Not being fine because I'm not well, but the things that I'm seeing, they are not pleasant. Uh, it's not about, it's not about fear. It's not about panic. But I didn't see clearance. I don't understand. Hmm. There are things that when they are happening to us, most people will not understand it. But I came for you to understand that God is still in the business of doing what he wants to do. Oh, your amen is very important. Thank you very much, Selassie, for joining me this morning. God bless you. I miss you, girl. I have to see you. You know that? Yeah, I'll see you. This morning... Share the page and invite a friend. Tell a friend we are in a new month and you need to be excited. Look, if truly, truly, they want to see what we have so they can give us what we want, you won't get any because you don't have anything. This morning, in the month of March, pick up your bottle of oil. This week, we have a direction. This March, the direction time is up. Next week, get your fresh bottle of oil. The presence of God must preserve us. The presence of God must keep us away from the wicked one. I see troubles in workplaces. I see people having troubles in workplaces, not with management, but with spirit, encountering with spirit. People are working on people's documents and they have, they, they have angrily taken them somewhere to destroy them. A nurse did the last office for a dead body. And the families were not at peace with what she did and decided to strike her. I prayed and prayed and prayed, nothing was happening. I poured libation before I heard them responding. 
and i have been worried why prayer didn't resolve it except the libation of the water i poured and they responded even though she didn't know what she has done i pray for you this morning that anybody that would use their documents in your office to bring you shame and disgrace may you be exempted some of us we don't work on human beings we work on documentation that somebody will bring you a document that you work on it at the end of the day it will lead you to distraction and trouble a young man went to work and he didn't know what was going to happen to him he didn't come back home he spent close to 14 days in prison until he was declared innocent my mother went to work we we're all sitting home and she has a time that she comes home and i have a duty to sweep bath for my junior ones and precisely put hot water on fire and it was a wednesday and on our menu wednesday was omotu against the weekend soup either granola soup or palm nut soup we were home waiting for mommy then there was no phone call except the landline to her office till evening time we don't know what has happened and we're living far well then living in Medina, Ottawa. So they have to rush and go to the office and see what has happened. When we went, she was at Kantaba. What was the issue? There was an office arrest of shortage in the store she was working, the medical store she was working. <clears throat> and so all of them had been summoned and they were just sitting down and they were all arrested. So you can have trouble in your office not because you have caused trouble they demanded us that the only way they'll release mommy for us the only way they will give us access to bring my mom back home was to bail her with a document of a landed property that night i was young but i remember they have to rush home, come and pick up the landed. And those these people don't keep landed property with them. They keep it with family head or somebody. They have to rush home. Did everything before they brought my mother home. Late in the night. That few minutes the woman was not there. My mom's absence was not easy for us. Look the presence of people you will know its value until you lose them but people can cause trouble for you that at the end of the day you will not be where you are supposed to be this month of march anybody who have occurred orchestrated any form of trouble for you in your house for you in your car for you in your office for you in your workplace for you in your school whoever has orchestrated an evil implantation and orchestration for you we use the presence of god to dissolve it because if it is not dissolved you will be disgraced you need the grace of God to get rid of the disgrace. The Bible says that for the whole world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. We have gone through too much. There are times I meet people who tell me they are watching me and I ask myself, why am I still like this? If this woman is watching me, I met a man who said, whatever you buy, I will pay for. At a restaurant. Unfortunately, I was not, I was not in, the, in the capacity of buying anything. But I was going to buy for somebody else. Paid for what I bought for the person. And said, ah, why did you buy such a small thing? 
I follow you and listen to whatever you say. I was surprised. The way people can follow me quietly that I wouldn't know. The same way people can follow you quietly that you don't know and they will destroy you. When people want to destroy who you are, they add the presence to the distraction. I know him. I work with him. Haven't you seen me coming to the studio with him before? Haven't you met me on the corridors towards his office before? Ah, don't you see me using his DP? If I don't have anything to do with him, how come I got this? How come I have this? People who want to disgrace you, they want to destroy you, they want to ridicule you, want to bring you to nothing. But I came this morning in the power, in the presence of the Most High God, that every orchestration, every plan, every design that is meant for you in this month of March to bring you to disrepute in every action of your life, I declare in the power and the presence of the Most High God that His presence will neutralize it in the name of Jesus. You will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. But your results will erase your insults. It will erase it. Nobody is waiting for complaints from you. Everybody is waiting to see that you are no more. They want you wiped away. They want you disconnected from your source. They don't get you. See how you pray. The way you pray. And see how now you can pray. You are going down. But I came to tell you this month of March. Especially today. The 6th of March. Which is a date that has been set aside to remember the toil of our fathers for liberating Ghana from any type of pain, disgrace, bondage, and bringing them into freedom and justice and giving them independence. I pray for you that your financial independence will appear. I pray for you that your health independence will appear. I pray for you whatever is holding you will not stand anymore. This morning you are going to pray. That in the next 30 minutes of your life is kabo, 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 back and forth. Share the page and invite your friend this morning. Pick up your bottle of oil as we anoint us into a new month. Next week, get me a fresh bottle of oil to start your direction. You need an oil and salt direction next week. Pick up the oil, anoint your forehead. Three times. Anoint your forehead three times. If you're watching me, you have water. Get a water. Get water. I just saw it. Just water. Small water. Write yourself with water. Pour water on your head. Let's get water. I saw water. I want to pray with you. I feel so heavy. I feel a heavy anointing. That is pressing me Jesus lay your hands on your head say after me say in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus my father my father in your presence I am this morning I pray for myself that as I've entered into a new month oh Lord start with me let my going out let my coming in preserved. 
Let your presence make the difference in this life I walk with. Say, Father. Say, Father. Say, Father. As I move through this week, in this new month of your presence, I lift up my Monday, my Tuesday, my Wednesday, my Thursday, my Friday, my Saturday, my Sunday into your hands. Father, let your presence be part of my journey. May I never take a decision without you. May I not be poisoned in any of these days. May I not be cut off from any of these days of this week. Walk me, walk my family, walk my husband, walk my wife, walk my children, walk my help, walk my driver, walk my cook, walk my house help, walk my in-laws, walk my workers throughout the whole of this week. Let your presence settle the difference. Let this oil and water of refreshing. You say, let them anoint themselves with water so they will never be dehydrated to death. Father, I just did. Let this water keep us refreshing. Water us in everything we do. Water us, Lord. May we never be dehydrated. That will be called among the dead. I pray this morning, Lord, that this shall be your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so much. We are in the month of March. And in the month of March, God told me is a month of his presence with his people. This morning we are here in his presence and we are in the month of his presence. We have a prayer to pray. Somebody who asks, what is the meaning of presence? Is the state or the fact of existing or caring or being present. So presence is a state. And when it comes to presence, we are not talking about the presence of man. We are talking about the presence of God. Because there are many presents. But in this time, we are discussing the presence of the Most High God. We are talking about a God who is able to do exceedingly far above more than we can ever dream. The presence of the Most High God. Now, in the book of Psalm 139, and I'm reading from verse number 6. Let me read number 6, 6 to 12. He says, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depth, you are there. If I rise on the edges of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even in darkness, you will not be dark to me. The night will shine like the day. For darkness 
is as light to you, O Lord. The presence. Where can I hide from your presence? He is an omnipotent. He is an omniscient. Psalm 139 says, Where can I hide from your presence? In this year of light, God is everywhere. The state of being everywhere. God is everywhere. God is everywhere. Do not be deceived by anybody. God is everywhere. The presence of God does a lot. The presence of God is not like any other thing, but the state of being there, the state of being present. So the presence of God is spirit. Where can I hide from your presence? The God we are talking about is an inner God. His presence is felt. His presence is known. His presence is manifested. You can call his presence. You cannot hide from his presence. If we cannot hide from his presence, then what can be hidden from his presence? In this month of March, as you walk on the surface of the earth, may the presence of God be your guidance. Oh, you didn't hear me. May the presence of God be your guidance. For Moses said, if your presence will not go with me, I will not go with them. Because when he came to the life of Moses to lead the people of Israel, he was not qualified. He didn't see himself as somebody that has what it takes to lead them. And when God gave him the mantle, he went back to God in the book of Exodus chapter number 33. I love the verse 14, 15, and 16. God said, My presence will go with you. The book of Exodus chapter number 33. There's a reason why you need God's presence. You can't work alone. You can't work alone. You cannot work alone. You can't work alone. The book of Exodus chapter number 33. Maybe let me bore you with a long reading. As we introduce ourselves to the month of his presence. Exodus chapter number 33, reading from verse number 12. And Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. Watch it here. Moses had that chance to be able to interact with God. When God called Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 33 verse number 12, Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. Now, it is not only Mary who found favor with God. 
Moses found favor with God. So God said, I know you by name. Lead my people. So God gave Moses an assignment. But found favor. Brought favor. When the favor of God comes upon you, it is attached with his presence. Oh, you don't get it. When favor comes and there's no presence, it becomes an empty favor. But this morning, if God knew Moses by name, gave Moses an assignment, and God knows me, George Luther, by name, then I have found favor with him. Let his presence be part of the favor. May everything that you had in the month of February that shook you, that changed your destiny be maintained in the name of Jesus. Verse 13. And this is what Moses said to God. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know and continue to find favor with you. Moses said to God, if I have found favor with you, if you have shown me favor, if the month of February is a fine way of keeping me in favor, that men and women showed me favor, that life brought me favor, that breakthroughs came as a result of favor, Moses said, Teach me your ways that I will know how to operate in this favor. I want to continue in this favor. Teach me how to know to continue in this favor. Maybe you want to pray this prayer. You want to say in the name of Jesus. Father, teach me how to continue in your favor. Teach me how to maintain your favor. Make me known the ways of your favor. Let me not fall out of your favor. Maybe you want to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, because you are pleased with me. Teach me how to continue in your favor. Teach me how to walk in your favor. Teach me how. Lift up your voice, somebody, and begin to declare. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the month of February was our month of favor. Therefore, this morning, Father, I pray and I ask that teach me how to continue in that favor. Your favor of financial breakthrough. Your favor of good health. Your favor of preservation. Your favor of keeping me away from the rich of the evil one. Now. Teach me how I can continue in that favor as I walk through this month of your presence. May I go in the favor that you kept Moses with. May I go in the favor that kept my predecessors. I declare in the name of Jesus that my children will walk in favor. I declare that my wife will walk in favor. I declare that my husband will walk in favor. Anybody whose life touches my life will walk in favor. Let favor not leave me as I walk through. May I continue in your favor. Let me continue in your favor that whatever is not needed shall flash out will not come closer to my dwelling in the name of Jesus welcome dinner you don't come to church these days I encourage you to be part of service too many things I'm seeing when I finish talk to me there's something I have to share with you and your testimony You will share it, but not now. God must give you power so you learn when and how to share testimonies. Yes, because there are too many things. There are too many things that you take it natural, but no. So throughout the week, for those of you who follow me very well, Monday to Friday, you didn't see me well on radio, on TV. Yeah. So I had a bad cough. Very bad one. I don't, I don't find cough and cold. I had a cough that even last week I was not able to come and have service because every second I talk, I'm coughing. 
I ignored it by the point in time because I am not an individual, but I live with people, especially my wife and children. I needed to seek for medical attention and I'm not against medical attention. Yes, I send people to the hospital to confirm what God has done in their life. <coughs> if you watch me even in church, I was in those marks. The day I decided to go to the hospital, immediately I went to the hospital, I came back. I was given medication. So I was told to take the first one and continue with the rest. It was in the evening. I went to the hospital around 4 o'clock. Then I went to meet a team, and me team met. I'm supposed to take the next one in the evening. Then there was a direction from God that we need to have a fast. You can't take medication in a fast. So I took a decision. I will fast without the medication. If God is up there and knows I'm coughing and I can't do anything and I've been given drugs to take and he just brought the direction was too important because I can I, I better do the direction to survive the people behind me than become selfish I didn't take the medication the pressure on those who care about me why do you have medicine you don't want to take I say this every day. That there are, there, there are some people that they understand where I find myself. I remember one person spoke once. I said, this is what I'm doing. That's all. Others were worried. Take the medication. Take the medication. I said, until clearance come, I will not start the medication. I will continue my fast. Because there are times that the troubles that come on me, they are not my troubles. It's because there is some particular Mary I'm surviving. There's some particular Susan. There's some particular Dina somewhere that I have gone to tap a trouble into to help them. But God, when you have to continue in his favor, he will keep you away from the reach of the evil one. Don't play God. Don't play God. Don't play God. A young lady was supposed to do a direction. She thinks he doesn't see God around here. You are not in Ghana. You are in Italy. It's far. Italy is not close. But you were in trouble in Italy. And I didn't pick car or flight or boat to Italy. But the presence and the power of God on me led me to Italy to resolve an issue. And the Lord told you, when this thing is resolved, in so, so, and so days, do X, Y, Z. The thing is resolved, and the next thing she wants to say is that, yes, even the thing that was done, if she could have waited small, it could have been done. She doesn't even believe that the prayer and the things we did is what brought the thing. I said, okay. So what you're supposed to give to God, you don't give back. You say, oh, I'm planning. I need to do other things. You know, when under it has gone through, there are things I need to settle. So you please have patience for me. Let me settle it. Nobody goes to the shrine and goes to settle after. They will punish you. Between me and God, I didn't do anything. When she said that, I spoke to God. We did a lot of things and some sacrifices that she was not even ready to do. I did it on her behalf. Just because her situation was bad. If I tell you I prayed, hmm, mm, about she telling me that it happened not because I prayed. No, I didn't pray against her. But all I did was as God. When the sacrifice is given, 
it shall be given back to you. That's all. I was there and an audio came from her. This time she didn't call me Rev. She called me Papa. Papa, help. The document is vanished. I can't find where I put it. And I'm supposed to go back on Wednesday. She, she sent me an audio on Monday. Help me, Papa. And I see if it's a joke. Immediately she said it. Then I saw the document in a yellow envelope. That has been locked like this. Lying on a refrigerator. The back of a refrigerator. I'm saying this to God. So when, she, when I listen to the audio... It took blue, so she would not have listening to it. And because it has thick blue and she knows I'm listening to it, she's expecting. She's expecting response to it. I didn't say anything. So I went somewhere, I was coming back in the evening, very late. I'm a late, late person. Not somewhere, we did prophesy, so I was coming back on the way, around 2.13. And I felt the power of God, so I stopped my car under a bridge to pray. Then the Lord told me, don't Neglect her. So at that too, it was late. I took my phone after doing what I'm supposed to do under the bridge. Sent her an audio. <laughs> and told her in the audio, the document is behind the fridge in the storeroom of your house. It's behind it. So go for it. That was Tuesday. Dawn. Wednesday morning, she sent me an audio. Papa, God bless you. I've seen it. I can't remember taking it there, Papa. In the audio. I said, we thank God. That's all. What I am saying to you is that there is presence that can be transferred from Ghana to Europe. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying. My daughter in, in, in Atlanta was not well and i've not seen her but i had a direction to do for her you see directions are good oh <laughs> look directions directions eh? you don't know what it does for people you keep listening to people the power and the presence of god is there you should not move without the presence of god <laughs> did i say what my people, fear the fire before you. <laughs> Dina. Uh, everybody, some people want to taste it before they see. But that's okay. Thomas, there are Thomas who were working with Jesus. He didn't believe that it was Jesus. He said, I can only believe when I'm able to touch. So you will touch one day and see. But the presence of God settles issues and makes the difference. I prayed for that young lady. Who believed that it was because of time. But when it got missing. Bible says that some people went to borrow axe to 